Good evening and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message. Just a couple of announcements before we begin. And that is to say that uh, due to the COVID restrictions, uh, services will be streamed uh, and you can watch them either on the church website or on Facebook. We have put back then our Toy Sunday to the 13th of December. And if you want, wish to bring a toy with you, please bring a new toy and please leave it unwrapped. Our reading this evening comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Isaiah has announced 400 years previously the coming of Messiah. To us a child is born. John the Baptist still an infant himself, is to grow up to be the one who is the one who prepares the way. The herald of the coming of Messiah. And tonight, having read Luke's simple account of the birth of Jesus, we come to that pivotal point in history where God himself in person intervenes, doesn't come in clouds and in power and in might. He comes as a vulnerable little infant, born in a stable in Bethlehem. His parents, Joseph and Mary, being forced to travel to Bethlehem because the emperor wanted his taxes. And in that moment, this little child is born. Paul talks in Philippians of Jesus emptying himself of all his glory, humbling himself and being born into this world. And it's at this moment we see this for real. This vulnerable little infant in the care of a young woman, very young woman, and her fiancé Joseph. Matthew also tells us of the coming of the kings and of how they speak to Herod. And Herod is jealous that a new king has been born and is determined to kill him. So fleeing from Herod, Mary and Joseph take Jesus to Egypt as a refugee. This world that we're living in today is totally different from this time last year from our perspective. The COVID-19 virus has changed everything. Indeed, there were screaming headlines that Christmas could be cancelled this year. But how can you cancel something that had such an amazing impact upon the world? We who love Jesus Christ will always celebrate his birth. The trappings of a modern Christmas are nothing compared to what we celebrate at Christmas time. Hope, peace, joy, 
all coming into this world in the person of Jesus Christ. The baby who would grow to be a carpenter and then a teacher and then the sacrificial lamb hanging upon a cross who would take away the sin of the world. Today there are many refugees across this world. Some will risk their lives to escape injustice and fear and genocide, poverty, drought, famine and illness. Some will risk their lives in flimsy craft, even trying to cross the English Channel to the so-called promised land of Britain. We wonder about the impact of these people coming into our country sometimes. And yet the one whom we worship had to escape to another country, born just a few days or weeks earlier. Jesus is our example. Jesus is our saviour. Humbly we come with joy to this Christmas season. Knowing that no matter what trials we face, what difficulties lie in store, we have one who understands and who is with us through it all. We remember the Christ child, born in those humble surroundings of a stable, is caught a manger. We have sanitised that picture, iconised it even, but surely it wasn't the best place for a child to be born. Yet this was our Saviour, this is our Lord, this is his example of love that gives up everything for you and for me. No matter what else happens around this Christmas season, may we never forget that. The Christmas is remembering God's salvation in the person of his son being born into this world. Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, we ask that you would be with us in these days leading up to Christmas. May the busyness of this season and may also all the other factors that have made and will make this Christmas so different from others. Not detract from the fact that we come to celebrate the birth of the Saviour of the world. Help us to celebrate with joy and thanksgiving, even in the midst of worry, anxiety, grief and pain. We come into your presence and may we truly be thankful as we celebrate this Christmas season and may its true meaning strike home into our hearts. May we worship you with hope and with gladness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Oh,